नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम सी यू इन दिस डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम टुडे इज ट्वेंटी एथ अक्टूबर ए बी सी एस टडे इज रियलाइज वेदर सो हैवी रेनफॉल रिपोर्टेड ओवर साउथ वेस्ट इंडिया इंक्लूडिंग तमिलनाडु तेलंगाना कर्नाटका एंड ऑल्सो ओवर वेस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री इंक्लूडिंग महाराष्ट्र एंड गुजरात एंड आइसोलेटेड लोकेशन ऑल्सो रिपोर्टेड हैवी रेनफॉल ओवर सेंट्रल इंडिया इंक्लूडिंग मध्य प्रदेश एंड हाइएस्ट रेनफॉल इज रिपोर्टेड ओवर निर्मल डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड तेलंगाना 12 सेंटीमीटर एंड सम 7 टू 11 सेंटीमीटर ओवर दीज स्टेशन वाट वी हैव मैंशन नाउ टूडे इज मेन इम्पॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज अबाउट द लाइक रिफॉर्मेशन ऑफ ए साइक्लोन स्टॉर्म ओवर ई सेंट्रल वे ऑफ बंगाल दिस इज द मेन सिग्निफिकेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर टूडे वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल सो एज रिगार्ड्स सिनोप्टिक सिस्टम सो यस्टरडे इज बेलमार्क लो प्रेशर एरिया ओवर ईस्ट सेंट्रल अर्जनिक वेस्ट सेंट्रल अरबियन सी नाव सीन एज ए लो प्रेशर एरिया ओवर वेस्ट सेंट्रल अरबियन सी एंड इट इज लाइक टू मूव अवे फ्रॉम द इंडियन कोस्ट ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स सो दिस इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट सिस्टम फॉर अवर इंडियन रीजन एंड एंड अदर साइक्लो सर्कुलेशन लाइज ओवर तमिलनाडु कोस्ट एंड अर्जनिक रीजन ऑफ यो बंगाल एंड द इम्पॉर्टेंट मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सिस्टम इज दैट द साइक्लो सर्कुलेशन स्टडे साइक्लो सर्कुलेशन दैट वॉज ओवर सेंट्रल अंडमान सी एंड टूडे मॉर्निंग Uh, it seen over north andaman sea in 5 30 hours ist and uh, lay over the same region today in forenoon at 30 hours ist and under its influence a low pressure area is very likely to form over east central view of bengal and at joining north andaman sea during next 24 hours so uh, and uh, thereafter it is like uh, very likely to move west northwest wards and intensify into a depression by 22nd of october morning and into a cyclonic storm by 23rd october 2024 over east central view of bengal so this is the detail of the likely formation of cyclonic storm that is likely to form over east central bay of bengal by 23rd of october and thereafter it is very likely to move northwest wards and reach northwest bay of bengal of odisha west bengal coast by 24th october morning so this is the detail and uh, we are regularly monitoring imd is regularly monitoring this system and uh, regularly updating the associated warnings so we will discuss here also including heavy rainfall and uh, wind warning that is pressure wind warning etc so uh, let us see day by day weather warning so this is weather warning for 20th of october that is valid for next 24 hours so under the influence of likely formation of low pressure area this uh, andaman nicobar islands our andaman nicobar islands likely to experience heavy to very heavy rainfall with thunderstorm activity over there and uh, Uh, other than that south west india heavy rainfall is likely to continue over tamil nadu kerala karnataka and also over coastal and pradesh and heavy rainfall also likely to continue over gujarat and maharashtra today and thunderstorm activity also likely to continue today over madhya pradesh vidarbha chatisgarh that is central india over telangana and odisha region and uh, very heavy rainfall also likely over south central karnataka today that is the possibility of very heavy rainfall today with orange color and on 21st of october if we see the weather warning so this is weather warning uh this is depicting that orange color is given to andaman nicobar islands with a possibility of heavy to very heavy rainfall on 21st and heavy rainfall over tamil nadu kerala and karnataka and heavy rainfall also likely over madhya maharashtra vidarbha region and possibility of thunderstorm also over gujarat madhya pradesh vidarbha chatisgarh and maharashtra region and if we see the weather warning for 22nd so heavy rainfall likely to continue over tamil nadu kerala and south central karnataka and thunderstorm activity to continue over gujarat maharashtra and western parts of madhya pradesh region and north east india likely to experience thunderstorm activity uh, on 22nd of october especially uh, assam meghalaya and nagaland wind from azam tripura now this is the impact started that, that is uh, heavy rainfall likely to start from 23rd over odisha gangetic west bengal under the influence of that cyclone circulus which is likely to form over east central way of bengal and uh, heavy rainfall likely on 23rd over tamil nadu kerala and south central karnataka and thunderstorm activity uh, likely to start from uh, uh, north parts of coastal and this also so this is the impact started uh, that is expected to start from 23rd and on 24th the heavy to very heavy rainfall at a few places is expected with extremely heavy rainfall that is rainfall more than 20 cm is expected over odisha region and heavy to very heavy rainfall over coastal area coastal districts of gangetic west bengal on 24th and heavy rainfall over north coastal and pradesh so this is the main impact of heavy rainfall on 24th 
and again on 25th also red color that is red color is given for 24th and 25th over Odisha and orange color uh, given to Gangeti West Bengal on 24th and 25th so extremely rainfall likely to continue on 25th also and heavy to very heavy rainfall over coastal districts of Gangeti West Bengal on 25th and on 25th Chhattisgarh and North Coastal Andhra Pradesh heavy rainfall is likely. On 26th, the intensity of rainfall will decrease, uh, however heavy rainfall is given to Odisha and Chhattisgarh on 26th. So this is uh, weather warning, uh, especially thunderstorm and heavy rainfall uh, on, uh, during the next 7 days. And if you see the fisherman warning, that is the main impact of the cyclone, likely formation of a cyclonic storm. So over Andaman Sea today, squally weather with wind speed at 35 to 45, gusting to 55 is likely uh, till uh, 21st of October. Over East Central Bay of Bengal, squally wind speed reaching 40 to 50, gusting to 60 is very likely on 21st of October. 55 to 65, gusting to 75 kmph on by 22nd evening. 70 to 80, gusting to 90 kmph from 23rd evening till 24th morning. And uh, adjoining area of uh, uh, West Central Bay of Bengal, squally wind speed is expected uh, of the order of 45 to 55, gusting to 65 on 23rd and 24th. Over North Bay of Bengal, if we uh, Talking about North Bay Bengal, the squally wind speed reaching 40 to 50, gusting to 60 kmph is very likely to commence from 23rd of morning and it would gradually increase becoming gale wind speed reaching 100 to 120 kmph by 24th uh, October evening. And if we see the coast along end of Odisha, West Bengal coast, squally wind speed reaching 40 to 50, gusting to 60 kmph is very likely to commence from 23rd evening and it would gradually increase becoming gale wind speed reaching 100 to 120 kmph by 24th October night. So this is the wind warning accordingly shaded area is shown here the fisherman pan gra fisherman panning graphics and fishermen are advised not to venture into these areas and suggest these actions on shore of shore activities also likely to regulate accordingly so accordingly special bulletins is being issued by india Bay department in association with the with this system and available at rsmc new delhi website and details are also available on our social media platforms like uh, facebook x instagram and also our national website mosom.imd.gov.in so india Bay department regularly monitoring this system and updating time to time about this system so this is update for today we'll update tomorrow till then namaskar jain jai bharat